So Ben, so um, learning to drive, what I found particularly fascinating about this film and mm. quite rare was the, the true friendship between Wendy and Darwin. Um, was that, I mean, like, is that something that you find quite rare in movies these days, two characters like that having that relationship? I think that, you know, once the, our audience start to have an appetite for and are given the choice to, um, to gravitate towards films about friendship, I think that we will start to mine a great vein of, of stories and possibilities and moments of friction and tenderness and, and debate and contention. Um, these people do accidentally meet coming from very different worlds. She is a high-flying literary critic who lives in New York, of all places. It's almost the capital of criticism and the capital of, uh, of the book, um, of, the, of publishing. So almost by definition, she's at the top of her game. He was at the top of his game as a university professor in the Punjab in India. I would guess, probably given his love of poetry, of English literature. That was my little backstory, because he loves to read his gift to his arranged marriage, uh, arranged marriage wife is a book of poems by Wordsworth, which is very touching. So yes, we do have a film about friendship, and it begins with the disintegration of one marriage, and it begins to conclude uh, with the progression of another marriage. And uh, I, found it, I found it a, a perfectly balanced script. I, th I thought it was lovely to see an arranged marriage dealt with in this way in, in this movie as well, because, again, that's quite rare, and we see different assets, uh, facets of that um, in different movies. But the way it was done in this film, I thought it was really well handled. Again, is that something that you, you picked up on, how well that was uh, done? Uh, well, I read the screenplay rather like um, you know, a narrative sweep, so I didn't pick out any particular aspect, but it all seemed to have a beautifully balanced logic. Let me give you an example without uh, spoiling it for anybody, that there is an arranged marriage, obviously, between myself and, and Surita Chowdhury, who plays uh, uh, Jasleen, my arranged married wife, and also the heroine of our film, played by Patricia Clarkson, her sister's working ferociously to manage her relationships. And that you find, I'm sure you'll agree, two very different arranged relationships one is ludicrous, and the other has great potential. Mm -hmm. uh, Darwin has a, has a great deal of um, patience and poise um, in pretty much everything he does. Um, uh, how did you get into that, that particular character? And also, is there something in Sikhism that, that is inherent in that? Well, w at the risk of, of, of making generalizations, because really, um, you know, my job is to be the enemy of that and be specific. And to, and to remind people that actually you mustn't generalize uh, and that every soul has a ind beautiful individual journey. So that uh, Darwin Singh, second generation university professor, uh, has dealt with a whole lecture room probably, as well as giving one-on-one -on -one seminars, a whole lecture room full of demanding, bustling, energe energetic students and suddenly it's confined to one person. In his lecture theater, which has got four wheels, <laughs> you know, he teaches driving. But, he, but migrating with him from the Punjab is that absolute imperative to teach, to improve, to enhance. Um, and it's not done, as you very kindly say, it isn't done with any pomposity, it's done with grace and enormous patience. Um, so being a drive in, driving instructor is a perfect metaphor, perfect uh, silhouette for that uh, energy to occupy in the film. Mm -hmm. We also get to see a great side of New York, which um, reminded me of London, I guess, in the way that it's a melting pot of different cultures and mm. communities. Um, have you found that in your, in your time that you spent in New York? Well, we were very fortunate to film in New York because it takes place in New York, but it can be crushingly expensive to film in New York, but we managed to do it. And New York, um, you know, 
the, the energy, the competitiveness, the, the, the joy and the, uh, uh, and the craziness of, of New York is a character in our film. It shapes and molds both characters in different ways. And um, so that uh, in, in, in that amazing city, we were able to flourish and our, and, and our characters flourished. It was, it was more than a backdrop, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a great presence and we were able to film in Queens. Not only that, the Sikh community allowed us to film in their temple. Now that, ha that space, as you well know in America, has been violated cruelly, um, but they had the courage, rather like Darban Singh, to move on. To, to move back into the world, uh, to get out of any kind of bubble. Uh, so I, I did find uh, my time in Queens with those, with those men and women very, very instructive and eye-opening mm -hmm. and, and very um, life-enhancing. Excellent. And finally, I just want to ask you, uh, is there something... I mean, I found that um, having a female director on this film actually quite helped get out um, certain aspects of the male psyche, in fact, that you wouldn't normally get. Do you, do you find that, working with a female director, that there's certain elements that they can get out of a character that you might not otherwise get? You know, last night I was counting the number of female directors that I've had the pleasure of working with over many years in my business. Four. <laughs> it's ludicrous. Mm -hmm. One of the first ones was a wonderful young woman called Buzz Goodbody who directed my Hamlet. Now that indeed is well, it's a kaleidoscope of a play. It unfolds so many issues. Male vulnerability is one of them. And Isabel, behind the camera, puts male vulnerability on the screen in a way that is seen as a great asset, not as something one should cover up and defend, but be vulnerable to the world, as Darwin Singh is. So uh, it was thrilling to work with her again. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saban. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!